we got the push lock lines on. Uh, phone's run out of battery, so I didn't record it, but it took about five minutes, I'll show you. So this is that arrow clip stuff. And I put a couple of hose clamps just because that uh, transmission core is not serrated as good as these fittings are. So there's the old stuff, super brittle, came right off. New stuff went on, that's done. Yeah. Uh, that, actually, that's the battery charger, isn't it? Turn, turn it on? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to unplug her? <laughs> hey, you want to unplug her? Hey, that, the blower fan? Is it? Okay, try it again. There we go. Yeah. Where it fired right, let me see. Yeah, we got fuel. Um, try it. I think we need a good battery, Jay. Ready? Yeah. Is the gauge you're showing?
All right, peeps, it's the next day. And uh, you seen last night, the Vega does run. It does leak a little oil, but that from looking at it is from the drain plug in the pan. It's got a, like a nylon washer that looks like it's seen better days. So I have to drain the oil, which this thing holds a lot of oil. It's got a big pan on it. We're gonna drain the oil on this thing and fix that. I'm gonna have to make some mounts for the radiator because it's not even mounted. And then I think we're gonna order some new tires for the rear, new tires for the front. We're gonna get the right size battery. And I think that's pretty much it. And magic douche this thing with some simple green so it's clean in the engine bay. And um, grease the Zert fittings in the front suspension and I think that's it. One week later. All right, so yesterday we took the tires for the Vega to the tire store and got them mounted and I didn't film it. Uh, so I'll, I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and get all that stuff on. Then I need to wire the fan, put the header gaskets on and this baby's ready to rock and roll. Well, the time lapse didn't record me putting these in, but these are uh, from Larry Hodge. These screws instead of having like a freaking awning screw in them. So we put those in there just because they look a little bit better. And the wheels already had holes, so might as well just use them up. Freaking headers kicking my butt. So, the bolts on the driver's side of this deal came out a lot easier, and there ain't even a freaking exhaust gasket in here. See in there, there is no gasket in there, it's gasketless. Nothing in there, gasketless, man. Freaking Chevy guys, I tell you what. Got the wheels all back on, tires. Oil plug, oil, water, fan, header, gaskets done. Still leaks exhaust.
Get him, buddy. Get him. Who is he? Where's he at? Where's he at? Yeah, a little douchey. Ah, take that shit right off. Uh, what is this? I don't know. You want to talk to you? <laughs> I think it is. All right, so you guys seen that we took the Vega around the block, and I think we washed it after we did that, but it's got a problem with the ignition switch. So let me see if I can show you what it's doing. Plug the battery in here. All right, so let me see if I can show you what this deal's doing here. All right. So when you go to start it, if you can look at the volt gauge, see how there's nothing, but if you mess with the key, So, Tim and I replaced this deal, and then I crawl underneath after we took it for a drive, and underneath there is the ignition switch. I think that's what's bad. So, it's after work. I'm going to spend a little bit of time working on this fucking Chevrolet. And uh, this thing also has a bad header gasket leak. Um, <clears throat> so this car was put together, I think a long time ago, maybe in the early 2000s. And you can see that this has all been cut apart so that it would fit in here. And this is about the chintziest header flange I've ever seen. And I think when this guy welded, this all got, I think the header pipe is doing this. And it blew this out. I put this gasket in and it already had blown this out. So I'm also gonna fix that. Right, here's the ignition switch. And then I think I'm gonna double gasket this. Um, even when I tighten this up and this other little cheapy gasket, it even as tight as I could get these, um, I could still move the gasket right here. I mean, it's got a pretty big gap in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the ignition switch out and then we'll do the header gasket. And then this thing should be ready to go for Tim. We wired in his fan. Um, wired in the fan with this Durali deal. Probably could have put some different ends on that. So laid a little bit flatter. But this thing will be ready. We washed it out and Tim needs to wash out the inside. Uh, maybe he should... I told him he should hose it out because it's this car sat for years and years and years on a trailer out by his brother's house. So you can see all the dirt in here. It's still dirty, but it'll do what Tim wants it to do. The one that was in the car and this is the aftermarket or the ac delco one i don't know why this is in here maybe once we get it installed that comes out i don't know this one don't have it looks like it might have at one time i don't know they look a little different That looks the same. Where all these are at, that looks the same. So I don't know, let's put it in and see what happens.
some business. This this doesn't feel as smooth as like a Ford. It feels kind of janky, but it is a Chevy. starter hangs up a little bit but i don't know uh that's new and the ignition switch is new so not sure all right now we're gonna start on that we'll throw the old ignition switch in here and we'll get started on this deal here more room to get in there. Heater hose is on a race car that's tubbed out. Interesting. Where's the AC hogs? I'm just giving the Chevy guys a hard time. My best friend in high school had a Chevy that whipped everybody's ass. I'm just a Ford guy. I like them all, I guess. I just prefer Ford. Alright. Let's get this gasket out of here. We're gonna double it up, cuz. Double your fun, bruh. Hey. 
hate how the Chevy got this the two exhaust ports so close. Like you say, it always leak. I'm scared to take those two end bolts out. Cause I have a feeling if I do, I might get this freaking header back up. So, I think I'm gonna put some copper coat on these deals. Glue these bitches together. All right, I didn't say this was gonna be pretty. And I'm gonna get this one in first. And I've just got it coated on both sides, just a little thin coat. But I'm gonna get this one down in there first. And then I'll goop up the other one and plop it in there. Okay, go goop up this other one. Not necessarily the cleanest job, shit everywhere all over the bench. Get this one all loaded up. This sucker sounded like a steam train the other day when we took it around the block. Stuck in my head all day. We're gonna slide this one in. The one that's got the most goop on it is gonna be closest to the head. Hopefully, I can get these header bolts. I might put studs right here too. y'all so not even an hour working on this thing um trying to get this car out of here <clears throat> as you know uh my car's at speed kinetics getting stuff done to it so trying to get this car out of here that way when my car's done i've got some room to actually work on it 
and get some content for you guys on it. So we're all done here. And uh, tomorrow after work, we'll come out here, drink a beer, fire this thing up and see. Oh, look at me, forgot. Got this here, but we'll, tomorrow we'll come fire this thing up after dinner or whatever after work and we'll see if the that gasket holds looks a lot better now uh, so we'll check it out tomorrow